This is Switzerland, the kind of guy who will watch the whole world tear itself apart whilst taking care of its own gold and chocolate. The kind of guy who will not get involved with fights between his neighbors, or join their breakfast club. Switzerland pride itself for being the most neutral country in the world. But why Switzerland wanted to be so neutral? Well, due to being squeezed between bullies who historically hated each other to the guts, Switzerland opted to become as neutral as possible, for practical reasons. Switzerland itself is actually quite diverse, with French, German, Romanche, and Italian speaking bits. These bunch of diverse ethnicities found common ground in being located within the mountains, and thinking they are way better than their neighboring nation states. Switzerland became Switzerland when these cantons said screw it, we will do our own thing because the Holy Roman Empire decentralized like nobody's business. Switzerland kept the original name Helvetia, because that was what the Romans used to call the Celtic people who originally inhabited the Swiss Alps long time ago, even though the Swiss cantons themselves had become quite German. The Swiss Confederation later grew bigger, incorporated more Alpine communities, eventually gaining more autonomy within the Holy Roman Empire. The Swiss Confederation wanted more, and Milan looked quite tasty. But the Swiss expansionist ambitions was put to an abrupt stop by the French in the Battle of Marignano. Since then, the Swiss pursued a policy of neutrality, the foundation of modern-day Swiss neutrality policy. The Swiss Confederation was famous for its mercenaries, the Pope approves. Then, the Reformation happened, and it tore the Swiss cantons apart because their own version of Jesus is the only one true Jesus. Despite that, Switzerland came out relatively unscathed during the Thirty Years' War, because all major powers in Europe largely depended on Swiss mercenaries. Switzerland also disallowed other countries from passing through Swiss territory. This was an important step in the development of Swiss neutrality policy. The Peace of Westphalia confirmed Switzerland's independence from the Holy Roman Empire. With no external enemies, Switzerland beat itself up again, and later got invaded by Napoleon. The Congress of Vienna confirmed Switzerland's independence and neutrality. Switzerland also received new territories, forming its modern-day boundary filled with multi-ethnic people. Because Switzerland swore to be neutral to everyone, it has nobody else to beat up, so it beat up itself. Fast forward, during World War I, Switzerland stayed neutral. The trenches stopped in Switzerland, because Switzerland did not give a crap and will just shoot anyone trespassing its borders. Same story in World War II. One of the main reasons Switzerland was not invaded by either side is because of its mountainous geography and its formidable armed forces, which would make invasion difficult and expensive, and kinda strategically pointless. Because Switzerland was relatively unharmed during the world wars, it became a haven for refugees, revolutionaries, spies, and people to hide money. Switzerland did not care who the clients were, it's all good money. After World War II, Switzerland went hardcore on neutrality, became the neutral ground for the divided Europe, could not be bothered to join the European Union, joining the United Nations very late into the game, being annoyed by Austria who claimed to be neutral, and here we are today. So how neutral is Switzerland? On paper, very. In practice, quite pro-Western for practical reasons, but not afraid to chart its own path because it has huge leverage by hiding everyone's dirty secrets. Today, Switzerland is seen as a utopia of peace and prosperity, unless you are one of those slave labor exploited by Nestle, or unless you are Liechtenstein who got accidentally invaded by Switzerland multiple times. The lesson here is, back your claim of neutrality with brute force, not just mere talk, sorry Belgium. Thanks for watching.